video I'll break down how to create this really cool Polaroid frame overlay effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now I got this idea for this effect from Polo G's Rap Star music video. So if I play the video, this is where I got the idea from. So you can see it just kind of has this really cool Polaroid flashes on screen. So that's kind of where I got the actual idea from. And as you can see, I just recreated it in Final Cut. Now we'll be using a plugin to create this really cool effect and it's for sale on my digital store. So by buying this plugin, you will be supporting the channel as well as you'll be able to create this really cool Polaroid overlay effect in Final Cut. So I'll show you how to use this plugin and how to create this effect completely from scratch in Final Cut. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Polaroid overlay from my uh, website. So if I head over here to generators and I go over to my generators, as you can see, Polaroid frame. So you want to place the plugin in your generators section in your motions template folder. And I'm just going to trim the Polaroid to fit because I just want it to appear on screen. So you just want to place the Polaroid on top of wherever you want the Polaroid to be. So if I click on the Polaroid frame, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of really cool like settings and things you can change. I can change the text. So if you want to say um, Polo G, so as you can see, you can edit the text. You can go over here, change the font, change the size. There's a whole bunch of cool things you can do. So let's say like um, the text position, the text scale. If I want to just increase the entire scale of the Polaroid, as you can see, I could just increase the scale of the Polaroid. So you see you have a whole bunch of your customizer ability you kind of just really customizes to make it look a lot better it's just so much easier than just having like a Polaroid frame and trying to like re reposition it and mask it crop it it's just so much easier so all you want to do is find the photo you want to use so let's say we want to use this photo go over here to drop zone select on the drop zone and then just select on photo one so if I select on photo one as you can see there we go we just have photo one and you, simple as that all you gotta do is use the drop zone and now it's going to appear in your Polaroid frame so I play the video there we go see it just is really easy plug it's really easy to use and just saves you a lot of time okay let's say I want to create another copy so let's head over here to the title section go over here to Polaroid frame place the Polaroid frame on top of this one and now you can go through and adjust the same thing so if I head over here to text me I want to type in something and I'll type in like the name of the song um, rap star so you can see you have a whole bunch of great you can obviously um, increase the scale of the text you can customize the text and let's say we want to use a different photo so let's do something like this again head over to the drop zone select the photo you want to use so let's say we want to select um, this photo so just click on the photo using the drop zone and there you go simple as that just just simply by using the drop zone you can select a photo and then of course you have a whole bunch of different settings you can mess with so let's take the position of the first Polaroid overlay uh, and move it over let's take this Polaroid overlay kind of go over here to the scale scale it up maybe we want to do something like rotation we want to rotate it around a little bit and then move it over here so as you see you can just kind of have a lot of customization with this Polaroid overlay plug and there you go and that looks pretty cool and of course you could add more pol mo uh, more Polaroid overlays but again just select on drop zone select on the photo apply and there you go as simple as that and now you can mess with a whole bunch of different settings to get you know the look that you actually want now another thing you may want to add to make this effect even cooler is add a really cool flash transition. So head over here to the titles and then go to adjust my layer. This is a free plugin and I will put the link down the link in the description below. I'm going to set the duration to control D six frames. So I'm just going to set it to six frames. I will put the link to this adjustment layer down in the description below. It's completely free. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and then just add a color board. Make sure you're on exposure. Place a keyframe. So just place a keyframe. Now go forward three frames. So go forward three frames. So go one, two, three. Go forward three frames. Um, uh, place a marker. Take the global. Change the global to 90. Change the highlights to 100. Now go forward three more frames. So one, two, three. And then take the global. Change the global to zero. And then change the highlights to zero. So as you can see, if I go frame by frame, it just creates this really cool flash transition and just adds to it as well. You could add like a uh, camera shutter sound effect. You could add some sound design. I'm not going to do it in this video. I just want to show you how to create this uh, Polaroid overlay. So add a flash transition. And now we can just copy this to the end of the Polaroid overlay. Make sure the marker is in the middle or the middle of the two clips because that's where it is the brightest. So again, you want to make sure the brightest part is in between the two clips. That way you can actually 
create this really cool flash transition. So if I play the video, if I go to the beginning, I'll open up my project, so here it is. So let's kind of play the video and let's see how it looks. If I play the video, as you can see, you have this really cool flash transition, the Polaroids pop up on screen, and there you go. You have a really cool Polaroid overlay effect in Final Cut. Simply just take the Polaroid overlay, place it on top of your clip, adjust the settings of the Polaroid overlay, and then just use the drop zone to select um, the photo that you want to use and there you go you have a really cool Polaroid overlay with a Polaroid just kind of flash on the screen you have a camera flash effect pops up on screen so it's just a really cool effect you can do to just give your uh, music video a little more life I think it's a really cool effect and this plugin is so easy to use so I definitely encourage you to go ahead and buy it and again by buying it you are helping to support the channel anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my final cut pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where i sell final cut pro 10 plugins anyways i will see you in the next one peace